Hello. Welcome back. Um, wow, I got a whole plethora of videos to do. Um, so, um, first step in the right direction. This is Fable Lost Chapters. The Lost Chapters. I botched it already, son of a bitch. Anyway, Fable, um, this was a nostalgic trip back to the past, replaying this game for like the, I don't know how many time. But the I only played Lost Chapters t twice now, and I played the original pff, countless times. And I gotta say, this is my Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> if you know that, you know the Spoonie one and his old thing for his whole major arc of ranting and stuff in the video game is that. The game itself, when you first play it, it might seem golden, then later on you really do see the cracks and the flaws through the rust. And all the other bad plethora of things. But, um, going way back, let's say uh, five, six years ago, when I first played the game, uh, it was my uh, cousin Jordan who came over for, like, say, a week, uh, for a weekend or whatnot, it was during the holidays. And he brought over his Xbox, and I was like, wow, never played an Xbox before, you know? And this was like, you know, all last gen and all that, and I wasn't even really big into RPGs back then, I wasn't big into Final Fantasy. The core group of things that I did know at the time was, you know, um, Super Mario and Sonic, you know? Just the general consensus blank sheet type of idea in video games and the classics. Uh, but with this game, I was blown away by the storytelling and the premise and having the whole avatar type thing of you projecting your, uh, person onto this character and becoming that person and good and evil and all that, but it's, it's really black and white to a fault. <laughs> black and white is kind of a funny term because it, it's by, uh, it's by, uh, Peter Moynew who is famous and kind of infamous as well for his uh, not able to deliver what he has promised. And I know we're on, on the third game of Fable, and um, it's just, this is all afterwards. I learned all this stuff that was supposed to be in, uh, supposed, I'm sorry, um, distracted Highlanders on again. I gotta watch that. Uh, to cleanse the palate when I saw it tonight. Uh, you wouldn't believe it tonight. It's like 5.40 right now in the morning. I know, I'm an insomniac. And what was on 3 today, it was... Me and uh, Dustin were uh, shooting the shit as usual. Highlander. And uh, Highlander Endgame was on on Fox. And it was edited. You know, it took out all the fun parts of like... I look like a fucking orange! And uh... What's wrong? Don't you want to be inside me? Oh, they took out all the, that kind of stuff. They took out, like, the gratuitous score and the fucks and the shits and the whatnot that makes uh, movies fun. <laughs> anyway, Fable. Not not Highlander. Though, um... Eh. Whatever. Um... <laughs> ADD's kicking in. Um, Fable Lost Chapters is really much... Uh, I don't know. It's 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 all these. This game is probably only good for maybe one or two playfuls. One is good. One is evil, because the game doesn't add really nuances of anti-heroism or it's so black and white and it's that to a fault. As I said before, with just like ah, there's only good and evil. There's only absolutes and there's no no uh, room for the layers of or the shades of gray as it were which I do like because the world isn't black and white and it's so simplified and the combat in itself the gameplay the gameplay is the heart of any video game and if the gameplay is fun isn't fun then what the fuck is the point of playing the game in the first place you know it's kind of like how the Call of Cthulhu video game Dark Corners of the Earth it has a fantastic story a great story good voice acting great premise but the gameplay elements in there is quite flawed with the platforming and other areas of puzzles. But that's the only occasion where the story and stuff really uh, o overshadow the gameplay and kind of covers up the faults, you know, just puts a band-aid on it and kind of show that, you know, it doesn't always have to be about gameplay, it can be an art form and so on and so forth. With Fable here, um... Lost chapters, whatever the extension, or I like to call it the whole fucking game. We should have gotten, you know, you know, DLC now they have that with the whole Fable Two pack, the Fable 
Game of the Year edition where they have all the three DLC packs in there. You know what we used to call DLC packs back in the day? Expansion packs. You know what I call them? I call them the whole fucking game, which should have been in the game in the first fucking place, you know? DLC is just, uh, I just, I think it's just stupid. Anyway, opposed to ranting, uh, the story in itself is very generic, chosen one, ancient bloodline, blah, 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 bad guy, Jack Blades. And, uh, the things that they did different from the original game into this so-called extension is that they changed some of the voice actings, they added in characters that they cut out because they had to rush the game for a release, as they always do. As I said before, you can't rush art, and you get shit games like Sonic 06. <sighs> Ugh. Why does it always go back to Sonic for me? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Anyway, uh, in closing, Fable in itself is just... Try it twice, maybe, if you like it. Um, the sequels in themselves is going in a direction I could really could care less. The whole industrial age and the whole muskets and stuff. I really would like it stay in more medieval times and have more deep, enriching history. The, the game itself does have a personality such with a decent voice acting and a kind of cool mythology if you read the books. It's just, it really comes off purely g generic at some points, and the gameplay is button mashing and uh <laughs> gameplay is button mashing and uh as I said before it's good button mashing, you know? Played Soul Calibur? It's about that, you know, except it doesn't have to leech off other franchises like say Image, Nintendo, Namco and Lucas Arts. <laughs> because your game shit doesn't mean you have to leech off other companies. Sorry for the Soul Calibur rant, I had to throw it in there. Um yeah, and may the forces of evil become confused on the way to your house. Bye.